Anyway, so let me just go on about NIH lifts funding pause on gain of function research. So let me explain this a little, because whenever this comes out, there's always the pushing back and forth from the press. So like NIH now is going to do dangerous research. No, actually, as a matter of fact, it's exactly the opposite. So a framework has been now established to guide funding decisions on proposed research that might be anticipated to create, transfer, or use enhanced potential pandemic pathogens. The program, everybody has to have a neat little name to it. This is called P3CO. So if you hear about P3CO, it's Potential Pandemic Preparedness Care and Oversight. Now, why is this different from everything else we've been doing? It's different because remember the trouble we used to get in when someone would do an experiment, they would submit it to a journal, and just as it's getting ready to go out, everybody would start scrambling around, should we be publishing, should it not? So we decided to go upstream from that and talk about decisions that are made by government funded. Remember, we have no control over things that are not funded by the government. But in government funded activities, to guide the funding decision before you actually do the experiment. I don't think this is going to be foolproof. Things are going to slip through. But I think this is a much better approach than we've had before. 